Hi guys, welcome back to Super Math for You. This is Mr. Rego, and today we're going to talk about the PERT exam. What is the PERT? Is it useful? 100%. So, by definition, the PERT is the post secondary education readiness test. What is it used for? The PERT is used to place students in college, specifically states colleges. All right? The better you do, the best, the better you get placed in college. So, it's tremendously good we're going to go through a couple of websites from colleges the first one is going to be from valencia college there so the idea is to help students understand what's happening what are you doing and the reason you're doing those things and what are the benefits of doing it all right let's start facts about the pert the pert is not a pass fill assessment the results will help you get placed in your english and math classes there's two, three sections to the test. One a reading, one part is writing, and one is mathematics. 30 questions per each section. One is not a time test. Has to be completed in the same day. You sit down and you gotta finish the three sections. It doesn't take around two and a half hours to three hours. The idea is it will take you an hour per section. That's the idea. Uh, calculators are not permitted. There will be a computer calculator available on certain math questions on the test. Here in the Indian River State College. Again, uh, the reason I'm here is because uh, it says it's a computer adapted test that is on time. So the idea is um, adapted means it's not gonna have all the, the same questions for everybody. It depends on you. It depends on the, the question that you answer right, then it will change the level. As you go, it will jump the level higher. Now, if you start failing the questions, then it will stay in the same level. Frequently asked questions. What is the PERT stands for? Or secondary education readiness test. What sections are including? We said reading, writing, and math. How many questions? 30 per section. Out of those 30 per question is 25 score and five field test questions. What does that mean? They test five questions to see how everybody does, but these are not counted. Do you know what questions are this? You have no idea, so make sure you you know. Uh, take the 30 as all of them count. The score, very important, 50 to 150. This is the lower and this is the highest you can get on the PERT. Uh, cost is, is free uh, for the first time. Uh, is it a time test? No, it's not a, it's not a time test. Uh, the test must be completed in one session without any breaks. Okay. By the way, I will link to uh, put links to, to, to all these websites. Uh, in the description. Is there a study guide? Yes, we worked on the study guide. Uh, the calculator, we talked about the calculator already. Uh, who needs to take the test? The PERT, as we can see, is a full paragraph. The PERT is to place yourself, to place students in the math and English classes. So when you're going to a state college, you want to take the PERT so you can advance. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Now I'm here, placement charts. What's the idea about the PERT? Why are we taking it? So we can get benefit about this. If you take the PERT, and these are the scores we set from 50 to 150. Reading, writing, and math. We'll talk about the math in a minute. This is the level, if you place between 50 and 80, this will be the class that you take. We see that is level one. Higher score, you go to level two. Higher school, you get into a different level class. Same thing with the writing, same thing with the math. Let's get into the math. So 50 to 95, it will place you in developmental math 1. 96 to 113 into developmental math 2. Again, all these are a sequence. In order for you to take, I don't know, college algebra, you have to pass already intermediate, you have to pass this, you have to pass that. It's a sequence, okay? So the better you do on the PERT, the higher or the semesters. Every class is a semester. One semester, another semester, another semester, right? You're saving time in college. That's what you want. Now, there's something good about this. If you get into your per score from 123, higher than 123, you're placed at college algebra, which is a great class, or stats, either one of them. Now, here, they're saying it's eligible for advanced algebraic functions. This is a second test, a second test that you can take What's the point of this? So you can place in a high-level class. Let's go there. You get offered this test 
if you place a MAC 1105, this is Scarlet's Algebra, if you score 123 or higher on the PERT, okay, so right now, 123 or higher, you're Scarlet's Algebra, MAC 1105, great, but again, they're giving you the option of going to a different class, high level class, all the way up to calculus, right, so my advice is, take this test, oh, you know, you didn't do that great, you stay in Scarlet's Algebra, no harm done, but if you place higher, if you get a high score, then you're able to take trig, precalc, or other classes. Oh, much, much higher, you go straight to calculus. So again, another semester or two that you're saving in college. That's the idea about the PERT, okay? So I hope this makes sense. Uh, I'll be talking about the PERT, which I'm going to do a practice test. I'm going to start from basic and then move on on level. But also, we're going to talk about the SAT and ACT. Right? You're going to take the SAT in high school as well. You can also use the ACT scores to place in math in college. Same thing with the ACT. Depending on your score, you will place intermediate or college algebra. Again, same as before as the PERT, you've been given the chance of taking the AAF exam, Advanced Algebraic Functions exam, All right, which I think is optional. Make sure you take it, okay? Uh, our next video will be on the per practice exam for the math. Uh, and then we're going to practice for the SAT and SAT. Remember, I'll be linking in the description many of these uh, websites. And stay tuned. Uh, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And our next video is practice for the PERT. Thank you. Bye-bye.